Hi guys, it's Kiarko here, back with another character speed build. This is a speed build of the golden trio from the Harry Potter universe. So this is Harry Potter, Ron Weasley, and Hermione Granger. And this was requested by Dalt Dalt. Thank you so much for this request. Um, I've been meaning to do the Harry Potter characters for a while now, uh, just hadn't really gotten around to it, but that is what I'm doing today. I know you also requested Luna Lovegood, and I will get around to doing, um, I believe they're called the Silver Trio, which is Neville, Ginny, and Luna. Um, so I will do those uh, three characters sometime in the future, but right now we are starting off with the golden trio um just a heads up <laughs> so i'm kind of nervous about posting this because i know you know harry potter fans are can be kind of intense i mean i'm a harry potter fan and i'm a little bit intense sometimes about it um you know obviously this isn't going to be like exactly to the t uh certain aspects of the characters but i tried my hardest and um i actually am pretty happy with how they turned out so we are starting off with harry um <laughs> so right off the bat i should say i thought that i had a lightning scar um piece of like skin detail but i i didn't i thought i did but i totally didn't um so he actually doesn't have his lightning scar in this game so i'm totally sorry for that um just imagine that it's there you know maybe i'll like edit it on in the future but uh yeah here i'm putting together a basic outfit for him um they all kind of got pretty basic outfits i don't have like any sort of um harry potter uh specific uh like character custom content like i don't have like the hogwarts robes or anything like that but i didn't really want to dress them that way anyways i wanted them to be like in their normal casual clothes you know like something they would wear um you know like hanging out you know by the lake or something just totally chilling but yeah, in terms of his uh, personality, I gave him the adventurous trait and the self-assured trait. That was just my way of making him, you know, seem very brave and adventurous. And, you know, that's Harry's character. I mean, obviously, um, all the character traits are going to be kind of very much simplified for these characters. Like, they're complex characters, but I only had the option of giving them two character traits each. So it's not going to be totally accurate to, like, the entire range of you know, character that they have. Anyways, we are on to Ron Weasley next. Um, Ron I had a little bit of trouble with, honestly, just like getting his face right. I'm not even totally satisfied with it, to be completely honest with you guys. I don't know what it is. I just really had a difficult time like capturing Ron in my head. Um, I don't know what it was, but I mean, like, I think, I think he still turns out looking kind of cute. Um, so in the books, he's like depicted very differently than he is in the movies because he has uh, a lot of freckles and he has blue eyes and he's very like tall and skinny in the books. And then in the movies, they cast Rupert Grant, who I think is great as Ron Weasley, but like he doesn't exactly look like the character in the book, um, which is fine. But this particular rendition of Ron Weasley is based off the book character of him. Um, if you could see for a second back there, I was trying to like mess around with giving him a hairstyle that had a headband in it. And the only reason for that is um, I was inspired by the Ron Weasley um, character in a very potter musical which is you know a fan-made musical on youtube you guys can go watch it right now if you want um it's totally fun if you're a fan definitely go watch it and if you are a fan i'm sure you already have watched it but uh the ron weasley version in, in that musical he wears a headband so i almost gave this ron a headband but i decided not to um i gave him the goofball trait and i made him good which really for me was just a way to translate him being very like loyal and friendly and all that Anyways, we're on to Hermione Granger now. Um, Hermione Granger has many different depictions of her. Um, in this particular build, I made her um, African American because, you know, I that was something that wasn't canonized until um, the uh, the official like that was it called the Cursed Child musical play that they put out. And I always liked that head canon because I thought it fit the character very well, just in terms of the way she was described in the book, especially um, her hair type. It made a lot of sense. And it also gave the books much needed diversity um, because, you know, if you guys remember the books very much, there's not a lot of uh, people of color in the books at all. There are some characters, you know, like there's Dean Thomas and there's Cho Chang, but I did wish that they had more. Uh, well, I wish JK Rowling was a little bit more, uh, I don't know what the word is, just, you know, writing good uh, people of color characters, you know what I mean? Um, so Hermione, I depicted her as African American particularly here just because, you know, I thought that that was a very, very good uh, decision for them to make that character. Um, in this way. Anyways, we are putting together her outfit here. I had some trouble kind of figuring out what direction I was going in. Um, you know, I could have gone in a lot of different ways with her outfit. The final outfit I gave her, I'm happy with. I could, I feel like I could d have done like a couple of different things. Um, I gave her this dress, which I thought is cute. It's got kind of like the book smart <laughs> kind of feel to it, um, which is obviously is Hermione's character because she's very intelligent. She loves to read and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
I do like it on her. I think it's very cute. But I could have also given her like a sweater and jeans. I could have played it a couple different ways with her, but this turns out to be the final outfit and I am pretty happy with it. Um, but I love her hair here. It's like all curly and bushy. It's so, gosh, so beautiful. You know, in the movies, like they, they stuck to her hairstyle for like the first like two movies. And then after the, the first two movies, they just gave her like regular hair, which is fine. It's just, it just didn't really stick to the, the books, but it's fine, whatever. Here are some screenshots. Let me know what you guys think of my version of these characters. You know, what your versions are, I'd love to know. Um, but anyways, as always, thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you next time.